A very warm good morning to one and all. I am Nazia Nasrin and my teammates are Anjana, Abadna and Devika. We are here to present our topic on base isolation. We can't go to the presentation without mentioning our mentor and guide which is sir, Assistant Professor Trinity College of Engineering who has been there to guide us throughout. Let us have a quick glance on the major parts of our presentation. This is the overview of our presentation which includes abstract, introduction, literature review, scopes and objectives, base isolation buildings and reference. Coming to our topic, we all know that earthquake is not a disaster, it's a natural phenomenon, but sometimes it becomes violent. It produces surface waves which causes vibration of the ground structures standing on top. As a result, the ground may develop cracks, fissures or settlements. Not only does it cause monetary loss, but can even affect the valuable lives and environment. Here comes the moral responsibility on structural engineer and the relevance of our topic. In recent times, many new systems have been developed either to reduce the earthquake forces acting on the structure or to absorb a part of seismic energy. One of the most widely implemented and accepted system is base isolation. Let's dig more about base isolation. As we all know, when earthquake occurs, surface vibrate, building also vibrate as it is resting on the shaking ground and causes displacement of structures and materials made inside the building is destroyed. So, we need to find out safety and comfort of building, we introduce base isolation technique. Base isolation is also known as seismic isolation as we isolate seismic waves or base isolation system as base of building is isolated. Its work is to decouple the structure in such a manner to protect the structure from the shaking ground. When the building is directly supported on the ground, the earthquake force is directly transmitted to the substructure that is foundation. Then it is further transmitted to the superstructure that is walls, columns, slabs etc. and causes destruction. By providing base isolation device between building and the ground, we can reduce the level of earthquake force transmitted to the building. Basic principle of base isolation is to modify the response of building so that the ground can move below the building without transmitting these motions. When earthquake comes, isolated buildings occur small movement as the isolators have very large movement. And these isolators will not allow the vibration energy to enter inside the building. So that frequency relevant to structural vibration will be filtered out and other frequencies will enter which will not cause any harm to the structure. Base isolation enable a building to survive seismic impact through proper initial design. And for existing buildings, we do excavations around the building and then we install it. Hope you got an overall picture of what base isolation is. Now, here is the literature review of our topic. These are the journals we had gone through for this presentation. First, Effect of Base Isolation for Building Structures by Professor R. B. Godke and Dr. S. V. Admain. And the point we got from this journal is that it is, that is, the base isolation is not suitable for all types of structure and is designed for hard soil, not for soft soil. Second, Base Isolation Technique by Ms. Sushma Zias and Mr. M. M. Joshi and the point we got that it gives needed flexibility to the structure and by using this bearings it stands against ground motion with high frequencies. Third, the base isolation system by Monica Jane and S. S. Sankal and we got the point that the response of structure is varying if the type of isolator changes as due to change in material properties of isolator. Okay, now we will discuss about the scopes and objectives of base isolation. So, 
First, the scope of this topic is that it would be more effective in earthquake prone areas. For example, these are the maps of India and Kerala showing the earthquake intensity of particular places. That is, in first map, we can see India is divided into four zones, zone 2, 3, 4 and 5. Here, zone 2 indicates the area with minor damage earthquakes. Zone 3 indicates moderate damage, Zone 4 indicates major damage and Zone 5 is the seismically most active region. From the map, we can see that there are many seismically most active regions. So, in areas like Zone 5, we have the scope of Bayside Station. Also, in map of Kerala, we can see so many red dots which indicates the intensity of earthquake in those areas are more. So, in areas with high intensity of earthquake, we can apply base isolation. Now, the objectives. The main objective is to design a base isolation and thereby reducing the damage during an earthquake. It may improve the safety of buildings and occupants. Base isolation had an effect of reducing the earthquake force to 30%. Base isolation buildings. Here are some of the places where base isolation had been applied like Apple Park, California, Adana Integrated Health Campus, Adana, Tokyo Skytree East Tower, Tokyo, Bush Hospital, Gujarat. In 2001, an earthquake had occurred in Bush Hospital, Gujarat and the building got collapsed. So, when it is reconstructed, base isolation had applied to that building. From these examples, we can see that the base isolation is effectively using nowadays. These are the links we had referred for this presentation. So that's all I want to say for now on our topic. I would like to end by emphasizing the importance of base isolation. Thank you.